Maca's guides. <laughs> hey guys, Maca here, playing Call of Duty Infinite Warfare's campaign, and in this video, I'll be showing you all 12 of the equipment upgrades available to you, and this will also unlock the fully equipped achievement slash trophy. Now, there's a couple of things to note. Like I said, there are 12 upgrades, but one of them is going to come to you automatically, and then three of the stations offer two upgrades, so there's actually only eight stations you'll need to access. The first equipment upgrade station is in Operation Port Armor. Once you come to the armory to pick up your Reaver and Mauler, you should be able to easily spot this in the corner. Next up, on Operation Port Armor, during boarding party, you'll be coming through the hallway and be given a three minute timer to escape the ship. You should notice an armory on your right hand side down the hall. Go inside this armory to find the equipment upgrade station. You'll notice a pattern here. All of the stations are located inside of armories where you would pick up weapons or complete missions with a unique item at the end of them. Right after the last upgrade, you'll be granted another one automatically when completing boarding party and opening the hatch in order to finish the mission. You can find another upgrade station in Operation Taken Dagger at the very end of the mission as you enter your objective and go inside of the armory. It should be blatantly obvious at the back of the room. Jackpot, eyes on. Now we're doing Operation Decon and this is near the beginning of the mission. As you enter and go through the opening doors into the fiery hallway, you'll notice that you can go up a small set of stairs to your left where you'll find an armory and a door that you'll need to hack, which does take quite a while. Inside, you can find the Ballista EM3 as well as an equipment upgrade station at the back, which you'll want to use. Later on in Operation Decon, as you approach the final room to get the weapon sample, you'll hack to get inside, and inside you'll find your weapon sample, which is your main objective, as well as an easily identifiable equipment upgrade station. I'm connected. Ethan, how many inbound? The next armory can be found at the very end of Operation Deep Execute. As you go undercover, you'll hack into the back area to find the eraser weapon and yet another one that's going to be easily found for you when you're inside the room at the back. The next one is on Operation Burnwater Refinery, and this is probably going to be the one that most people missed on their first playthrough, including myself. You'll come at the very beginning of the mission to the section where you drop down, and you'd want to go in front of the building right in front of you to complete your main objective. However, we're going to go to the left and find an armory, and once we go inside, there's going to be a set of like two rooms, and in the back room, we'll be able to find uh, an equipment upgrade area. And obviously, we'll want to use that one. And hopefully, if you're like me, as you use it, your achievement or trophy will unlock. But if not, we have only one more very simple one to go. And a I'd like to ride a horse someday. You want to be a cowboy, Ethan? Hey, I, I have a cowboy hat. I, I bought it in Texas, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Hella crazy. Last but not least, we have Operation Black Flag, prisoner escort near the very beginning of this mission. We'll come to this area, notice a billboard in the back, as well as a sniper on a ledge. If we jump up onto that ledge, we can notice an armory door, and once we go inside, an easily identifiable upgrade station with two upgrades. If you've been following along, your achievement or trophy should unlock right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if the video was helpful. Share the video with a friend. Special thanks to Drop Dead Artemis, as well as everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. And hopefully, I see you guys next time. Peace.